Have you started wearing a mask around town? I wore a mask when I went to the grocery. They said you have to now. Mm-hmm. You had to get in certain places. You have to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To get in here, you have to. <laughs> Which we it probably does say that on the door. That's going to haunt us on the insurance issue. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because none of us have one. <laughs> It does say that on the door. Sure yeah. do. But these were all pre-recorded in when? February? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Show on Earth. You never gotten to Taekwondo? feel like Fuck that's not your no, thing. Dude. Bro, after seeing Karate? you hike, don't do any sports. Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all went hiking. You should have seen this little thought on the mountain, bro. It was muddy, but goddamn. I heard somebody say, who brought the transgender stripper hiking? Oh, <laughs> Look at this little mud dog. skipper. What? Look at this, this little, mud skipper. Well, you said, Brendan. shark. <laughs> you freaking human fucking Look frigid this, air. Look at this fucking... You said... Keep going. I said, what should I wear? Is it nice to hike? Dude, and you're on a hike. I didn't say you were going to fucking party in WeHo. What the fuck are you wearing, your bro? Outfit. <laughs> he said just wear some soccer-style stuff. <laughs> you didn't have to blow out your hair for the hike, bro. He said wear soccer-style stuff, dude, and that was it, dude. Soccer bro, stuff? I did 270 yards of mud, yeah. uphill mud. It's all mud, bro. And he's packed in a mud. He's on a four-wheeler. He's totally <laughs> cool and comfortable. He has dogs. He has hunting dogs. I thrive he in the mud. He has beagles. He has a temperature. He's testing the mud to make sure it's the temperature's okay. I was raised in the mud, bro. Well, this guy. <laughs> and then, look at this little, look at this little thought here, bro. It almost blew my back out walking up all that mud, man. Yeah, we'll get your back. Oh, shout out to my boy Suplex in Philly. Shout out to nobody, dude. That was oh. a fucking. I should call the cops on your ass. Yeah, you should. And okay, yeah. buff ass Theo. I see you, homie. Dude, I showed up. Zoom bro. in, bro. <laughs> zoom in. We can't he's, zoom in. Hey, you... hey, zoom in. He's built like a Lego piece covered in cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, far away. He looks like fucking. Yeah, get in there, bro. That's a man's body right yeah, there. Yeah, well, look what happened to my fucking back after walking up all that mud. <laughs> I was straight up when I got up there. You idiot. I was break dancing. Look at my look at the dislocation. Did I dislocated my damn <laughs> rectum or something. <laughs> Apparently you dislocated your lower body from your upper body. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't take me on that shit, bro. Take me on a regular Why'd you, hey, you know, my favorite part is you, you had those brand new shoes. Brand new shoes. I had to oh, leave them at my no. house. They got wrecked. They're wrecked, man. Here's the worst part though, so we hike up the mountain, <laughs> yeah. right? Dude, hold on. Before he does the story, I have to take the easy path for this fucking for the fucking lesbian aunt over here on the hike, bro. The easy path. We took path. the shortcut. Shortcut? Yeah, because you're wearing hiking stuff, dude. <laughs> Try doing it in fucking cheerleading shit. That's the only shit I had in my car was some men's, kind of a younger man's kind of clothing. <laughs> Why are your shorts so short? I That's what I had. You said it was wear soccer like a tire. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, dude. Bro, it was a, at least at least probably a mile of mud, just uphill mud, man. How long was the whole hike? Oh, I don't even remember. Six miles. You ever seen uh, Passion of the Christ? You ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> now imagine that in mud yeah. and short shorts Mild- and a boxy body. Look at his pose. Mildly similar hey, to that. Hey, imagine Passion of Christ if, if he was a gingerbread man. <laughs> I do have that gingerbread body, bro. I pull out that straight up fucking G-bread physique, yeah, who, son. Who made you? You know what I'm saying, huh? I told y'all I'm built like a Conestoga wagon, you freaks. <laughs> I'm built like a damn basement freezer, dude. Dog. But once you warmed okay. up, th- that fucking caboose started moving, oh, and he was just cruising, all bro. Aboard. You could have went all day, choo choo, and then his back was going chug 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 chug. I was like, damn, bro. Oh, every now and then I had to take a piece of coal and just put it in my butt. Yeah. I was cruising, bro. Well, here's the. Okay. You just gotta warm up, bro, and you're moving as if this fucking. Oregon Trail of Brendan's didn't, couldn't get any shittier. So first of all, the guy takes me on this fucking thing. I thought I was going to get raped at one point, bro. It was very sketchy. Very sketchy. And even one of the past, it was like the the Natalie Holloway tour or something. Very alarming for a mountain. So I was like, what is this? And the sign had been made by Brendan. You knew it had been because Holloway was dispelled. Okay. It had two A's in it. All away. <laughs> so, 
first of all, we <laughs> hike up. You bro. struggled so bad. <laughs> Yeah, because I wasn't Get equipped. Get in shape, bro. I wasn't equipped for the thing, I you freak. I want to die early, man. Tell your trainers to quit pushing that fucking sled all the time. It I, ain't working. I wasn't equipped for this kind of shit, you idiot. When people ask you for information, you have to give them information. You can't just say stuff that doesn't make any sense, dude. I was like, yeah, is it going to be muddy? Can we hike today? Is it safe out there? Yeah, man. Wear something soccer style. Definitely what? soccer <laughs> style. Bring us all in camo. What does soccer style mean? Yeah, you did. I don't know. That's not even soccer style. This is one of your. Hey, well, here's the worst part. Hey, it looks like I was hiking and found someone lost. <laughs> 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 hey, they just said to me, bro. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I found this fucking tranny on the hills up here, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, tell me where you parked your fucking Subaru Outback. I'll take you there. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. I'll tell you the rest of the story. So we park. Brendan, instead of walking to the freaking front of the hike, just has to drive us to the front of the hike, okay? And immediately then, I fucking made sure I had my rape whistle in my pocket, okay? That's the first clue of a freaking sex offender. Somebody's going to drive you up a hike. So we get partially up the hike. And so he parks, we get out, we walk out, we walk up the hike. So then he takes us down some back way into the this, shortcut, right? Because okay, whole sure. fucking Aunt Sue over here couldn't keep going. Dude, I almost blew out my fucking occipitals, man. You're a delinquent. Your ass implants almost gave out, huh? dude. My Cossacks was fucking rocked, bro, because you couldn't put me on level ground or at least just tell me to be prepared. Do I need a walking stick? All of this. Nah, yeah. nah, man. Quit being a little bitch, <laughs> bruh. Okay. Here's the worst part. So we get off of the hill. Okay. We get off of the fucking whatever this was, dude. This a avalanche. It's bro, a mountain. It was flowing. The mud was flowing <laughs> was at muddy. one point. And I ride my bike up that bitch. Bro, there were four hedgehogs went by in a boat, dude. <laughs> in a P-Row that they made out of a piece of birch. So anyway, we get off the hike. We're into a neighborhood. I'm like, well, this is weird. Where are we even going? We keep walking. I'm like, are we close? He's like, yeah, man, we're almost there. We keep hiking for about another 25 minutes to Brendan's house, bro. So we get there, and I'm like, dude, what are we doing I here? Took the shortcut. Where's the car? And he's like, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> we fucking drove there. And he's, then I go. He forgot? Yeah. yeah he no, forgot. I didn't forget. I took the shortcut. <laughs> and then I go, dude, just give me a ride back to my car. And Theo goes. My keys are in your car. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, just so really. that was our day. <laughs> Damn. So, that is the last time I don't check TripAdvisor. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Damn, dude. what a day. Bro, he's wearing huge duck boots. He's wearing those big waffle things on I'm the bottom the of Cam his Haynes shoes. Wearing the Cam boots, man. Yeah, this guy's got me out there. Like, can't hang. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know, this dude's got me struggling. Dude, you're a struggle city. Oh, it was tough. You look man. like a stripper on ice. <laughs> <laughs> dude, just sent my mom a little Rona gift, brosie. Oh, yeah? Would you send her a mask? Uh, ooh, probably would have been a good idea. <laughs> oh, dang. No, but I, I can't. I figured I'm going to try to take care of her from the inside, so I sent some athletic green. Oh, my Lord. Your mama is going to be running marathons in no time. You're talking about athletic greens, the ultimate daily all-in-one health drink with 75 vitamins and minerals? What? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Does your mama know it's in a powder form? You just mix in a little bit of water and take that thing straight to the dome? Dude, half my family's in recovery. Of course my mother knows it's in powder form, dude. Heck yeah. Athletic Greens. It is a specialty little uh, dust, if you will, a morning dust. It includes prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzyme, adaptogens, superfoods, and more. Giving your one-stop shop to help support your body's nutritional needs across five critical areas of health. Dang, Athletic Greens provides convenient, affordable, and tasty sol solution to fill the gaps in your diet. Because you know what? One thing I noticed when I get up in the morning, I was like, man, am I going to, I want to make sure I have the right stuff throughout my diet. But I have a glass of water, then I have a second glass, put the Athletic Green powder in, throw an ice cube in there. What I like to do is, uh, to make me feel better about myself, I like to go to Panda Express. Mm -hmm. I get a double orange chicken scoop, mm -hmm. but I down it with some Athletic Greens. Ooh. So it's like, okay, okay, not too bad. We see what he's doing. You got some here. minerals in there and some orange chicken. They're like, we see what you're doing. Yeah, dog. Whether you're taking steps towards a healthier lifestyle like Theo's mom or an athlete 
pushing for a better performance. Athletic Greens takes the guesswork out of everyday good health. Why yep. not just try it? Jump on over to athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and claim the special, special offer, offer today. Hit them, Hit them. The, the special offer, baby. You, you have to see the special, man. 20 free travel packs valued at $79 with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and get the 20 free travel pack valued at $79 with your first purchase. Yeah, I'll sniff that stuff, bro. Ooh. And then he came over for uh, Easter, dude. I came over for Easter, bro. <laughs> Brendan wouldn't spend any time with me. He says he's going to draw the whole time. And here's a video of Brendan drawing while we play with his son in the distance. Well, hey, while my son beats the shit out of him. You can hear my son beating the shit out of Theo in the background. Drawing his bunny. Wait, you drew that? Yeah. You can draw? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> no. I thought it was good. Did, did, you, did you see did you see my Easter my cookie? <laughs> no. Look at my cookie. That's pretty damn the cookie's good. Cookie's pretty good. I've always been able to draw. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah wow. man. <laughs> Hold on, bro. <laughs> Compared to Theo too? Well, I'll never. You should have seen Theo's thing. Theo's thing got real sad. He some somehow he found black chalk and drew a skeleton and then a rabbit like this next to it and then a bunch of pills. I'm like, dude, there's kids here, you stupid fuck. Mine did have kind of a defeatist edge to it, <laughs> but I will say this, dude. I wouldn't class up. I couldn't draw first of all because my spine was dislocated from my in eleven different places from my four year old son fucking oh, you dude. up. Son Theo was insane, struggling. Bro. Damn. His son's insane. Man. Oh really? He really is. Yeah. And his legs go different than his body, bro. Nice his legs be over here, and his legs will be over here, <laughs> just running forward. <laughs> He's crazy, bro. He'll go 200 rounds with you. <laughs> 200 rounds? That's what he wants to do. He's like, I want to do 140 rounds in the yard. Like, what? He's like, don't worry, two-minute rounds. Like, <laughs> so he got pretty intense, man. What'd you guys do for Easter? Yeah, what'd you guys do? Do after, after Brennan got busted there, doing fucking... <laughs> What? Bro, you look like a like an artist on house arrest. Oh. <laughs> you look like right there. What'd you guys do for Easter, man? Uh, we had fun though. Thank you for yeah, inviting me, bro. Of course, man. It was fun, dude. Yeah, I wish I had time. the invite. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Damn, dude. I, I forgot to invite Chappelle. I ain't got no food, no kettlebells. You're losing no. weight though, dog. I am. That's true. I broke my I broke my jump rope though. You did? Yeah. Damn, how'd you break a jump rope? <laughs> Damn, bro. Why you gotta ask it did like you, that? Did you? Did huh? you? Would you yawn and you stepped on it? No, I did not step on it. No, but just please, just, just snap. Elaborate more, because suddenly I'm off the hook for not being able to fucking handle that hike. Bro. <laughs> 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 when a large black man breaks a jump rope, <laughs> suddenly I look like fucking <laughs> Lewis and Clark Bar over here. <laughs> Lewis and Clark Bar. <laughs> What happened, man? Yeah, I was jump roping outside yesterday, and the shit snapped on me, bro. And oh. I got so pissed, and I had to go for a walk. Damn, they're in jump rope. Jump ropes are hard to break, man. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kinda, they're kind of indestructible. I stepped, I stepped, well, like I had clipped it once, and then I was like, yeah. "Oh shit," or whatever, blah blah blah. But then yeah. I kept jumping, and then it was like, Psh. "You got to tape it back together, or use a lighter, and put it back together." Is it plastic oh. or not? Is it one of them plastic yeah. ones? Or you could tie that one bitch off. One of the real off. thin ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, tie you could that tie that. You could tie it off, but then you have to duck down when you jump, and that shit is kind of miserable. Or, or what you do is just don't use the handle. And just keep that one like this. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <on the> side. <laughs> yeah. You, you, your neck would be sore, but yeah, you get a workout in. Yeah, your neck would be sore. Bro. What do you do, Kat? Absolutely nothing. What? Did you see the family really anything? Uh, no, everyone's back in the bay. You it's guys don't me. celebrate Easter? Uh, Not really. We do for the kids, but since it's quarantined, Nobody's going out. Wow. Did you do anything, Nick? I prepped for an episode of this past weekend, recorded an episode of this past weekend, and then edited and posted an episode of this past weekend. Then I went to bed. Thanks, Theo. Wow. <laughs> but it's the Lord's I, day. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. <laughs> I went to Brendan's for us. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't bring any of your Easter pizza? <laughs> no, you, I you represent I sh- everybody. I should have brought him some pizza. I fucking felt <laughs> horrible about that. Chin, did you do anything? Sadly, I just stayed home, too, like that. Damn. Yeah. Damn, really? Yeah, really we don't really celebrate Easter. <clears throat> so Easter's not an Asian holiday? I don't think so. Do you guys do you guys celebrate? It's a Catholic It's a thing. religious holiday. Yeah. So not, or it's like a Christian Catholic holiday. thing? Catholic, yeah. Christ. But, Christ but I mean a lot of people sell but Me- in Mexico celebrate. they don't even celebrate it. Well they celebrate it, but they don't celebrate it with like the Easter bunny no, and stuff, right? I don't think so. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. That they don't celebrate they don't have they, they don't do like the Easter bunny and stuff 
in Mexico. I don't what do think. They do? Can you look they it up? Don't, they just don't have an animal. Uh, I think I don't. Maybe they might not have. They probably have bunnies there because they have bunnies get in like the desert. I think theirs is armadillos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. And no kid wants to eat something left by an armadillo. Dude. Yeah. You know, I mean, I trust armadillos. Yeah, a chocolate armadillo. I'm not having. Yeah, I'll have a small one, but I'm only having one piece. You know, <laughs> Brendan, I'm still shocked that you're drawing. Really? It yeah, was that's good. I, when I when I uh, first with finding the kid, I used to do all the designs for the shirts. Really? I used to draw all the shirts, yeah, for years, two, three years. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Easter customs in Mexico. This blew my mind because you think Mexico, Christian, you think a lot of, you think the Easter bunny, man. Yeah. And this is written in Wingdings font. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. Nice. No, it's not your fault, man. It's somebody who ever wrote this site. Can we complain? Is there a thing to email them? <laughs> <laughs> Contact. I'll yeah, Easter's me. probably the worst holiday, huh? You think? I love Easter, man. I was bummed. I didn't get to go home. I wanted to go home, but I think everybody just, people aren't doing like big get-togethers or anything. People were doing crawfish, though. They had like a little bit of crawfish, oh. but, and they did Easter egg hunt, but not like everybody didn't come over. I think people were just kind of scared. Have you started wearing a mask around town? I wore a mask when I went to the grocery. They said, you have to now. Mm -hmm. You had to get in certain places, you have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get in here, you have to. <laughs> Which we it probably does say that on the door. That's going to haunt us on the insurance issue. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because none of us have one. It does say that on the door. Sure yeah. But these were all pre recorded in when? February? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is Easter. We're talking about Easter last year. Yeah, yeah last year. <laughs> you know how hard it is to pretend that I went over to Brennan's for Easter this year? <laughs> When it hasn't even happened for another six weeks. <laughs> Those pictures were photoshopped. It's tricky. Yeah, yeah. That video looks so real. I know. Yeah. It's, it's crazy what they can do nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else happened? I can't believe you guys didn't do anything, huh? You didn't do anything, Kat? You didn't no. do anything, Chappelle? No. I honestly forgot it was Easter. To be honest, <laughs> that's fair. All I was the days watching, are dude, I was same. watching John Wick. I never seen it before, so that's what I did. Yeah, it's yeah, a two-hour film, man. There's but I still watched another three. Twenty-two <laughs> hours. That's six hours. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Uh, I only saw the first one. Is he still watch killing bitches because his dog died? No, but watch two and three though. You should watch it. Book of Eli is good. Have y'all seen that movie? I haven't. Oh, Book of Eli is good. good. You feel like that? It's kind of about Easter a little bit. It's about Easter. It's about like a, a little bit. A blind man in Easter? Like vaguely. Uh, I don't. Is the guy blind? Yeah, he's blind. He Something is. Something like that. I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> I've seen that movie. Yeah, he looks it's blind in the picture. <laughs> he looks blind in the picture. <laughs> I have a friend that's blind. He said it's not that bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I mean, that has he always been blind? Yeah, he's been blind forever. He, he probably says it's kind of nice. He said it's uh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and it might just be his disposition. He he's kind of a chill guy. He's just a positive guy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If you're like, oh fuck, I gotta get, I gotta stay busy, and you're blind, then I bet it would be like fucking, <laughs> you know, a nightmare. Yeah. It'd be like, yeah, it'd be like, yeah, like, yeah, I'd just be insane. Like <laughs> What's this little everything would trap seem, Everything would seem like that hike I was. On. <laughs> that hike ruined but Just you. imagine somebody taunting you from thirty feet ahead of you comfortably, yeah. and you're just wandering through the woods like fucking Elizabeth Smart, dude. Not sure I where you're going. Theo was blind, not sure man. how this ends. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. Sure how this ends. yeah. And sometimes he'd throw a little, uh, he'd throw a little, um, a sugar baby. Yeah, some of a sugar baby. I'd, I'd encourage him up the mountain with sugar babies. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. He had a sugar baby, and sometimes it was even one of those uh, butterscotch. <laughs> butterscotch. <laughs> Them are my favorite. Just fucking throwing yeah, those dude. are my favorite. And look, dude, one time he tried to throw one down on the ground, and he accidentally threw two, and he went and picked one up and, <laughs> <laughs> and had it. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, wait, that was mine. Yeah, <laughs> trying yeah. to keep you motivated, dog. Yeah, bro. <laughs> trying to get up that damn mountain. It was good, but we made it, though, we dog. Made it, dog. We made it, dude. What we made got, it, dude? Who's this young lady right here? She's got a king and her sting it for us. Hey, guys, we got a quick king it or sting it for you. Easter egg painting, yay or nay. We had a competition in our house, and we'd really love for you to weigh in and tell us which one is your favorite. Culture Corner, your opinion matters too. I opted for that Joe Exotic theme. Oh, Ooh, those are so oh, exotic shit. and that James <coughs> Gerritsen hitter. James wow. And hitter. my brother opted yeah. for Trump and that's that right. COVID killer. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Let us know what you think. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Oh, wow. Oh. Damn. Now they can draw. 
<laughs> yeah, that's good. That man. COVID one was probably my favorite. That's really creative. You think? Yeah. Go, let me see him one more time. <clears throat> think, homie on the that James Garrett's is fucking savage, bro. <laughs> that James Garrett's in his next level, dog. That little yeah. snitch. Yeah. Man, that Donald Trump is fantastic. Trump too. is good. COVID is good. COVID's good. COVID is real good. Yeah. And I even like that basic duck right there. <laughs> <laughs> that duck looks like She skipped attitude. over that one. That yeah, duck. she did. She did. I like that one. That little pond thought right there. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That little fucking white bread fucking succulent. <laughs> yeah. That little dark wing duck side piece. <laughs> yeah, dude. That little fucking light wing fuck right there. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's vote then. Um, you the guys, King of Sting, let's let's take the King of Sting one out of it. Obviously, we all love that one, so okay. take that one out of it. Good call. So you have the Darkwing Duck side piece. You got the Trump, then you got the two fucking Joe Exotics, and COVID, and COVID, and COVID. Okay, um, I'll just uh, do y'all know which all pick. Yeah, oh, I, I knew immediately. Okay, really? What? What do you got? Fucking homie on the jet ski. Yeah, mm. that's that one's too <clears throat> fire. That one's also the most difficult, I think. Yeah, yes. James Garrettson right there. And that's James <clears throat> Garrison. Beautiful. The Joe Exotic one's pretty good. Beautiful man right there. Single guy. <laughs> <laughs> Single as fuck. Just, huh? has that, just has that lemur. Yeah. Well, so yeah. He, he had that pawn shop and had one lemur. He had that bootleg lemur, and that's why he ratted everybody out, allegedly. <laughs> Someone <laughs> did him wrong on the lemurs. <laughs> I'm going James Garrison as well, man. That thing just shut I'm going to go with the COVID one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with James, too. Wow. I think she did better artistically, but his was more original. Yeah, that's a good point. Once you start thinking of why they did it yeah. or what's going on. Cause it, yeah, because yeah, cause he's not the most popular character either in Joe Exotic. Mm-hmm. That's a unique take. That Trump one is good. <clears throat> yeah, it is. But that part of Joe Exotic is one of the best parts. Oh, yeah. yeah. When they're playing no Eye knows, of the Tiger. No one knows why that It was random as <laughs> <it's randomous laughs> fuck. <laughs> Well, dude, one of the craziest things I've heard about the whole Joe Exotic thing now mm-hmm. is that the producer was, and you heard this too, Nick, mm-hmm. you talked to... I talked to a bunch of those people. Yeah, I guess the producer, Eric Good, who made the Tiger King documentary, he was giving drugs and alcohol to all the people he was interviewing. A lot Allegedly. Of them, yeah, allegedly. Uh, let, a lot of them were in recovery. Oh, so he, like, they fell off the wagon and he got a bunch of information out of them. Uh, Sounds like there's a bunch of sketchy stuff involved that no one really wants to see. Sounds like he did his job. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like at every level of this entire thing, somebody was screwing somebody over. Yeah, it's a scam. Yeah. The whole yeah. thing's a scam. It's like a pyramid scam. I, I told you that the one dude, the nanny, that's not real. Her boyfriend was there. They flew, they paid her. That's crazy. Faked Man. it all. <clears throat> all right, I got James Garrison. We got two for James Garrison. I got Corona. Nick, Chen? Definitely James Garrison. Wow, four for <clears throat> James Garrison now. I had Trump immediately. Wow. Yeah. The Trump one's good. Yeah. That one is good. Eggs are fucking tough to draw on. They're all tiny. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta paint them too. Yeah. It's a Your beast. big ass hands. It's a beast. <laughs> you gotta get, get one of them big stretch eggs, man. The you big ostrich. The, the big ostrich eggs? Yeah. Fuck, that's a good idea. You could really. They're more different. And here comes a young man. Here comes Joe Exotic's third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Nick Rodriguez, aka Nicky Rod, and I got a King Gator singer for y'all. Getting a puppy during quarantine. Oh. Make the commitment or not to. Oh, he's dumb. Oh, oh, oh he's damn. cute as fuck. Nicky Rod, that's a nice animal right there. And what is that animal? That is a Frenchie. Yep, French bulldog. Bulldog. It looks like a huh? Frenchie mix, though, yeah? It looks like a little deer, like a fat baby deer. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a thick ass baby deer. Yeah. yeah, bro, you might have a fucking you might deer. You, you might have bought a reindeer on accident, <laughs> bro. Now a that's a pet. If you want to get wild during the teen, bro, dude, bust teen. bust out fucking one of Santa's little helpers, dude. <laughs> yeah, paint his damn. nose red. Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, paint that juicy ass nose red. Yeah, bro, paint an animal's nose red and fucking see what's up, man. <laughs> Dude, he's cute as fuck. I'm a king getting a puppy because you got nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. Might as well train that thing. That's a good point, and man. And you got a buddy. He'll sleep with you. That should be dope. I'm surprised you don't get a dog, cat. Um, <laughs> so funny. Uh, no, I mean, Are you not after, a do- no, I like animals, but after the quarantine, as long as you keep the animal and you're continuously taking care of them, that's great. But I have a feeling people are going to give back those quarantine animals. Yeah, you're probably right. Really? Yeah, when people start getting back to their lives. Because the only reason why a lot of people want animals now is because they have nothing to do. Damn. They're just using the animals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like one big Tiger King. 
It's like yeah. everybody's Joe Exotic. Hopefully they don't shoot in the face. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, Joe Exotic killed those tigers. Do you see the bonus episode? I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? <clears throat> they talk about how he killed the tigers. Like, healthy tigers, but he needed the space, so he just called him up to the cage and shot him in the head. They so have video he, of it or no? It's alleged. Mm, I think they have video of it. But he admitted to it in jail. He when did? he was on the jail call, he admitted to it. What's interesting is <clears throat> they had, like, the five main characters, and Joe McHale was the host. And he asked all of them, goes, should Joe Exotic be in jail? All of them, including the people who were close with him, like, yes. He, he did some horrible stuff, man. Damn. All of them. Even people who defend him, like, he should be in jail. Shit. I got to watch that, man. Because what, uh, 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 what is Joe McHale doing with it? He's a that, host. But what is it? Like an after show or something? It's an after show, yeah. And he's uh, the host, but it's all FaceTime. But, Got you know, it'd huh. been better if it was in person, like a real love and hip hop reunion. They just fought and shit. <laughs> you had like a live tiger. Did Was James Garrison on there? Uh, he wasn't on there. Some people declined the interview. Hmm. But like the, the main people were. His little thought side piece with the missing teeth. He has, te- he has a grill now. Oh, yeah. He has teeth fixed. And he has a fiance. Yeah, a, he wasn't a gay. No, he wasn't gay. <laughs> so I'm saying, man, I've argued this for a decade. I've argued this. You for called a, that from the jump. Yeah, about a quarter of a decade now. I've been arguing this. Dude. Listen, I tell, I tell you right now, don't put me around Tiger because obviously there's something magical. Because them boys want to play those Tigers so bad, they start sucking dick and acting nah. gay. Bro, don't, don't bring around the Tigers, bro. The ti- I don't know what's gonna happen to you. The Tigers has nothing to do with it, dude. It's the <laughs> drugs, bro. Yeah, right. I don't think so, dude. Your bro, juicy never- ass is in front of me, and you put that majestic Tiger, dude. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. Bro, I never wanted. Don't wear those shorts. Short you want on the hike, bro. <laughs> that you told me to bring. <laughs> that you freaking used me. <laughs> Let me see this dude. He said debate club, but this is a uh, king. It's drug induced homosexuality, is what I've been talking about for a quarter of a decade. Of a decade. <laughs> and you freaks don't know what's going on. You called it. You called it from the job. He did call it. Thank what did you. Theo do when he was on drugs? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah. called, he called all of it. He's like, nah, that boy ain't gay. He's no. on some drugs, man. Bro, I'm just telling you. Nah, a... he's gay. No, he's not. You're not gay if you're high and you meet a guy off the 101 and suck his dick for Matt. I would never suck a man's Defensive dick, much? Okay? I would never suck some person's dick. If I'm sucking anybody's dick, it's my own dick. <laughs> okay, first of all, and you can write that down. <laughs> and second of all, I'm just saying, at a certain point with drug use, there gets a point where it doesn't matter what's going on, and it's not gay, it's just drug-induced <laughs> homosexuality. I hear you, brother. Loud and clear. So at 2 a.m., everybody's buddies. 3 a.m., there's still drugs. There's not as many buddies around. 4 a.m., dude. Dicks and butts. There's one buddy. <laughs> There's drugs, and everybody's just... You gotta just, get the drugs. Yeah, yeah. And you can do, any, by any means necessary. Everybody's looking for something warm, bro. All of a That's sudden, you're is. man on fire, but you're sucking dick. <laughs> it's different. I'm just saying, at those hours, it gets different. Yeah, I feel you, dude. You know, it's that witching hour. I bet you had some good times. I never did anything, you freak. I'm just saying, I hear... Hey, Theo, look at me. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Dude, I've said it before. If I was gay, bro, I would be fucking shocked, dude. I'm okay? saying, and I'm if not I saw me, If I saw me dating a man, I would call the police, you freak. Really? <laughs> yes, I would. I bet you'd be pretty happy. <laughs> what? You're the one who's the fucking hillside bangler who's fucking sneaking men out into the freaking soggy terrain and watching them getting stuck in mud. <laughs> Okay, and then when that didn't work for you, the, oh, I accidentally took us back to my place. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking line. Without keys to your car. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. With dude, no keys dude, to my dude, car, you're, bro. You're the one getting defensive about Joe Exotic and his gay brothel. Bro, I'm just, talking about, they were on meth. What? <laughs> All right, dude. Bro, I'm just saying. You're the it was one. really gay. Dude, it's not gay if you're high as shit and you have no money and you're in fucking Louisiana. <laughs> it's a hot summer day and your shirt's off and you're convertible and you have cheeks all i'm saying is dude don't and david dukes is there yeah. and he's selling n hats and they sell out there was two hats people only bought two and also what i'm telling you right now is you're not listening no i again dude is that dude, if dude, you're dude. going to try and molest a friend <laughs> at least be able to close the deal bro you can't even close yeah. the fucking deal you got me stuck in the mud out i was there. all out of math dude. <laughs> 
and then I rest my case if that's the <laughs> if that's the truth, bro. Then it comes down to the drugs, man. You're right, dude. <laughs> I've said you're right since day one. Hillside Bangler. <laughs> Strikes again, bro. Strikes again. Strikes again. Ran out of meth, so didn't get my dick sucked. <laughs> what do you got, Nick? Yeah, homie over there trying to light a butterscotch up in a crack pipe. <laughs> trying to melt butterscotch. Yeah, dude, dude, you ever have butterscotch in your veins, Theo? <laughs> hey, what up, Theo? What up, Brendan? My name's Jesse. I'm from College Station, Texas, but I'm currently driving across country, man. Moving out of here to California during these corona times. Wow. God. <laughs> this is the most boring fucking drive ever, bro. Yes. Anyway, I keep seeing all these signs, so I got a debate club for you. What do you guys think about these uh, roadside attractions? Keep seeing these billboards for something called The Thing. Some shit about some boy wolf. Some other shit looks like an alien. I don't even know, man. But uh, love the content, fellas. Love watching the podcast. Uh, also, Theo, if you got any advice for a southern man moving out here to the California, let me know what's up, man. Hey, guys, y'all take it easy. Keep doing good work. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. That's yeah, that right. Texas and that Aggie land, bro. Yeah, Have bro. You been there? College Station. No, I got a. I got a cousin. My cousin goes to school there. He did. He did. He's an adult now, but he went to school there. If I could do it all over again, I would have played college ball at Texas A and M. Really? Yep. I had the chance and didn't go. That would have been the place. Why? What makes you say Isn't that? It's just such a dope college town for college football. God, man. Mm -hmm. We we I think I played there twice and it was just magical. Damn. It's so big. The the freaking stadium's so big. It's just like a sea of people. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, they have a. Uh, they don't get a lot of credit. They don't really get a lot of focus because they're over there. Because Texas has so many schools. But the, they they were a big dog for a while, and then they, they have the Florida State coach now. They're going to be back for sure. Who went? Did Dak Prescott go there? No. Uh, he went to. He went to uh, Ohio. M he, no, he went to Mississippi State. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Come on. Manziel went there. Okay. Uh, Manziel went there. They have some ballers. The receiver for Tampa Bay went there. Uh, Von, Von Miller? Miller? Yes. Oh, there you go, Jimbo Ryan, Fisher. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, Jimbo Fisher's the coach now. Oh, okay. No, they've had some ballers, yeah. man. It was my favorite place to play. And when I played Mike there. Mike Evans went there. That's right. Yeah, that's why I said the receiver from Tampa. He's a baller. Oh, Dude, yeah. Dude, him and Tom Brady? Come on, son. <clears throat> that could be wild. Uh, when I when I, I played there twice, and when I played there, I remember uh, President Bush would show up. No way. Because there would be Secret Service there. I'm like, what the fuck? Because we'd do a walkthrough. <clears throat> You know, the night before, mm -hmm. and we get there. I'm like, "Why Secret Service everywhere?" And President Bush was out there watching us. Damn, a little snitch giving away our place. Was he? Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked, man, if he was selling the place. We lost him over time. Did y'all? Yep. Damn. Bobby Purify fumbled the ball. Who was Bobby Purify? Running back. And where is Stop. he now? Can we see where he's at? He's in Colorado Springs, I think. He is. I don't know what he's doing. Did you play with him? Yeah, he's our starting running back. So you played fullback, right? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, man. So when fullback, right, you have to block stock. a lot, huh? Yeah, block and catch. Is it fun blocking or not? Not really. I mean, you're just getting CT all the time, dude. Yeah. You're literally the guy where they're like, hey, run into that guy so this guy can look cool. Dude, you were like on the hunt for CT because it's like if you didn't get it in football, you're like, oh, I'm going to go find it somewhere. I was you know? <laughs> And then you went to, I mean, you just keep traveling. I, I was Mr. CT because I was playing fullback and running into large men. That was my job. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, and my and my history is the gay one. That's the crazy part of suddenly. Yeah. Bobby Purify. And what happened? He took his own life? No, hell no. Jailed for admitting the $12,000 theft. Mm. He was the nicest guy, man. Was he? Oh, such a good dude. 12000 Anybody could try and steal that, though. Such good dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to say it's Can they? Uh, is that jailable? He's probably released now because of uh. Yeah, man, I was Mr. Corded. CT because football, and I was the captain of special teams, so I'd, I was the wedge breaker, so I'd run in and break the wedge on kickoff. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. Brother. and I went from that to UFC. <laughs> they got rid of wedge breakers because it was so it was dangerous. so dangerous. Yeah. I, I was the guy. I was Mr. <laughs> wedge breaker, and then I used to light dudes up, and the team was like, "Oh, that's what you want to do." Then they'd put big tackles there, so I'd have to run into the big tackles. Oh, <laughs> the biggest white dudes. Damn, dude. And now you're doing a uh, misguided hiking out there. <laughs> now, now, now I'm a hiking tour guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's a tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> if you finish, you get butterscotch. <laughs> what else you I got? I like here? it, man. Brendan's butterscotch getaways. <laughs> I like it, bro. Dude, I can market that. Yeah. yeah, dude. Should we do a little sink my ink? Hell yeah. 
I'm about to get tatted up Thursday. Man. Are you really? Yeah. I saw you looking you for a tat one? guy. I got I might a get guy. a tat. Dude, I got a guy. I, I got the guy. Here's Eddie Bravo, I got huh? The guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, bro. He looks like Eddie Bravo with my hair. <laughs> yeah, bro. This and like... Theo's forehead. <laughs> this looks like Eddie Bravo, dude. <laughs> Eddie Bravo. Oh, first of all, how is this not Eddie Bravo? <laughs> Hey, I bet Eddie Bravo. The king, hey, what's the king of sting at Flat Earth? No. <laughs> Bro, yeah. What's the king of sting at you fucking rare YouTube links? Yeah. Hey, king of sting at 5G cause Corona. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would definitely, people should talk. I, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be shocked if it did. Personally. No, it didn't. It didn't. But there's some people that say it did, Brendan. Let's hear what. Because uh, it's only in five countries. Yeah. How is that not fucking Eddie Bravo? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Oh my god, dude! Damn, can't understand it. Oh, am I Eddie Bravo? <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah. Let's see what this guy's. It's Todd here from the Caribbean. Sure, Todd. <laughs> You're having a look out of Wow. God damn, it's windy. That's my view. We've got a little uh, sink my ink for you boys. We've got the good old uh, straight mom. Respect. I'm confused. It's pretty badass. But then I got this guy. The little camel toe. <laughs> oh, respect. Can't go wrong with that. That's hilarious. And last but not least, you got uh, the old uh, hamstring. I <laughs> have <laughs> these parts. You say pull it, pull it. Right down by the beach, boy. <laughs> you want the smoothie, baby? <laughs> great line, by the way. Thank you. Have big, yes. Uh, yeah, great tattoos, man. Does anybody get straight mom? I, I straight mom. I'm confused. Straight mom. Where was, was it on his calf? Was, did, was there a rumor that his mom wasn't straight? Straight in mom. the in the town. Straight mom. Straight mommy. Straight, mommy. straight mom. Straight, straight mom. mom. His calf. He has calves of a wow. mom. Mom straight. upside down is wow. Straight oh. mom. That's a confusing one. He said he's like the walking dad joke of tattoos. So like, there's something there. But straight mom. Damn. I mean, that's okay. S T R A I G H T M O M. Straight mom. Is that how you spell straight? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew it was. <laughs> <laughs> I did, dude. You were waiting for the answer, too, Brendan. So calm down. Yeah, no, we, we knew that. We knew that. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, that. We got no, that. Brendan yeah. peeked up and was like, <laughs> is it? Straight mom. I don't know what that is. Straight mom. <clears throat> on his calf, right? Is that the, what it is? The funniest one's the hamstring. Mm -hmm. The piggy on, with the hamstring's got funny. The straight mom. And then the camel toe. Cam, camel toe. Yeah, camel toe is great. That hamstring is unbelievable. I mean, the not the not the not the best more. artwork in the Caribbean, you know. But you got let I mean, yeah, a lot of artists down there are artists that are probably on the run from stuff. I mean, once you get down to the islands, Key West, Caribbean. I mean, you can't. The Caribbean is great unless you want something. Then you have to wait forever to get it. Like I remember trying to get a fish dinner over there, and uh, and um, <laughs> they had to go wake the man up. They put us in the restaurant. We had to sit in there for 40 minutes and went and got the chef. <laughs> then they come back. That's island life, bro. Dude, it was two hours and 10 minutes before we ate, Dude, bro. you ever been in Costa Rica? It's furious, You ever been in Costa Rica? Dude. Huh? You ever been in Costa Rica? Yeah. Just filled with whores. Is it? Oh, dude. I walked into a bar. It was just whore island. You'd love it, Nick. You just... <laughs> <laughs> Never had a It was like a shark, shark frenzy. Just wow. grabbing my dick. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was this guy's issue? <laughs> prostitution is legal in Costa Rica. That's why, Brendan. It's not even Some would say it's the funnest time. <laughs> <laughs> then you go on a crocodile tour. Dude, oh. dick sucking a crocodile tour? That's living, brother. Then you go zip lining? No. Naked? No. Dude, Costa Rica's living. You need to get your mind out of the gutter, brother. You need to get to church, man, and get your act together. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I like that guy's tats. What's this? What, yeah, hey, great tats, man. We're gonna be thinking about the straight mom for the rest of the month. Yeah, let us know. Tell, yeah, tell him to let us know. What's uh, what's Aaron Rodgers want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Brendan? 
What's up? I like video? that shirt. Fit boy, chew toy. This is Brad coming to you from Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> Fit boy, chew toy. Combo question for you. First, if you want to sink my ink, this is my newest tattoo right here. This little fresh froggy hitter. Gang. Got about three weeks ago before everything started shutting down. Pretty much healed up now. Got some leg hair growing back. But this just wasn't any normal tattoo. This is a get what you get tattoo. So pretty much had a gumball machine full of different designs in there. Out pops this little frog. That's the design that fate had for me. So what do you guys think? King or Sting it. Get what you get tattoo. <laughs> gang gang, buzz buzz, tatty zap. Love you guys. Dang, Love man. you. Respect, um, bro. Wow. Dude, get what you get. That'd be fun. Ch you know Chin's gonna get a neck tattoo. His birthday's Friday. Are you? And he's always wanted a neck tattoo. When so me and Chin have mat me and Chin have matching tattoos. And when we were in Dublin, him, my brother, and me got matching tattoos. Chin wanted to get on his neck, and the dude goes, "What?" The artist goes, "You want to do what?" He goes, "I want the tattoo on my neck." He goes, "Dude, for your first one, I ain't doing your neck." He refused to do it. I know that Chin? was messed up. Wow. But I get yes. yakuza shit. Go yakuza, bro. <laughs> but we we found oh, it. We, we got a guy who's willing to do it. Chin just said, "You did, you said you decide what you want on your neck." I'm still figuring it out, but I think I know. What, what do you know? A fish. I don't like to tell people my tattoos. A fish. A fish. What do you want on like a goldfish? What do you think? A thinking? koi fish? No, just a fish that's swimming like this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Go I like it. This way. Like like a barracuda? <laughs> no, no, just a regular fish. Like, like a piranha? Huh? A regular fish, man. <laughs> he just said a regular fish. You keep yeah. naming fucking uh, like some like catfish or like I, a dinner I, I, fish. I need some idiot. detail here, man. Like a, a dinner koi fish. would be sick, but it's just too small. You want like a like a, a koi trout? Too much you think like a nice clean trout? A black trout, maybe. Solid black trout. Um, mm. Just swimming like that. A mahi mahi. You want a you want <laughs> black fish? Maybe. Oh well, yeah, black fish. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Do uh, I could see you having a mahi mahi on your on the side of your on the side do of you your neck. Do you get a swordfish on your neck? Ooh, get the uh, <laughs> get the barramundi. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Australian fish. Do you get that big old grouper on your fish, sucking on your throat? Too what? big. <laughs> Ooh, get a sucker fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that tank cleaner. <laughs> yeah. What's that one fish? Gefilte fish. A gefilte yeah, fish. Yeah. Jewish fish. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, Jewish get fish. a Siamese fighting fish. I saw those. Those actually look cool. That's what the you tails should get. The tails are all whippy, wispy. Yeah, and have have the fucking the fins like yeah. this on your neck. I saw them. They look cool. I like that idea. That sounds like a really neat idea. Dude, you ever got two Siamese fish together? Mm, I haven't. Dude, Ooh. it's straight up <laughs> fish cockfighting. What? Oh, you can put them. They don't like each other. If they're around two the same fish, they why would fight, you do they it? Fight then? to the death. Why would you do it? Because I was a young kid with no money. I needed entertainment. What? <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, I had a fish fighting. No ring. money, but you Nick, have two Nick. exotic fish. <laughs> hey, not that exotic, dude. <laughs> dude, where did you grow you up? You have two Japanese fighting fish, bro. <laughs> dude, I ran a pretty rough scam. <laughs> <laughs> Kids paid a lot of money to see those Siamese fish die. Yeah, but I'm just saying, dude. How are you able to happen upon these rare fish? If They're not wanna... rare, dude. They're in every fucking fish place you went into. Are they really? They sell them at Walmart. We oh. we would we would combine them in Walmart. It was regret regretful now, but yeah, we would go in high school. We'd put fish together and they'd kill each other. And then just... but also awesome because they really go at it, man. These we'd bet are... on them. Yeah, that's what we do. We bet on them. Damn. Candy. Walmart's dude. People give so much shit to Walmart. Walmart's fucking amazing, bro. You can go in Walmart and be in there for twenty hours if you want. You can stay the night. Isn't that crazy. You could be in there for twenty hours. Also, they have everything. Have fun. Do you know? Guns. Go shooting. Snacks. Ride a plants. bike. Get a plant. Return it. <laughs> Eat lunch. <laughs> Eat lunch. Yeah. You have nice lunch there. Eat lunch, bro. There's a lot you can do. And here's uh. This is related. Okay, here we go with the young man right here. What up, guys? <laughs> that dime piece in the background. Elsa from uh, Frozen. But anyways, I got a debate club for your asses. <laughs> Walmart or Target? Uh, I mean, you know, Walmart. You go, you go to Walmart. He goes on. He Dude, I, I got clapped. <laughs> he goes on. Does he, have any, does he have some good points or... <laughs> Nick's like nah. Nick stopped it for a reason. Dude, I, I, I got clowned as a kid in elementary school because nah. my mom called it Tarjay, uh -huh. like fancy. Yeah, and I kept calling it Tarjay. I got clowned on. Like, I could, I could see that. There's an escort calling Nick back. <laughs> it was actually the place where I got that couch. I thought I was missing pieces. They were all there. Oh yeah, we do have a new. Couch I didn't notice. Here. Oh, I didn't even notice. Nice. Is it nicer for you guys? Yeah, it is. Nice. It's comfy. Nice it looks comfy. Perfect yeah. size too, Nick. Good call on not getting black. 
Yep, yep. yep. That don't good, bro. <laughs> oh, time. I've been sitting in all black this whole time, and I wear all black. I know. I wore the blue yeah. shirt today thinking, like, oh, okay, I'll switch it up. Are and they ever going to replace Derek? I think, People I know. are wondering. <laughs> People were like, yeah, are you guys going to get a replacement for Derek, or it's just Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to use your joke again. Nick. <laughs> Sorry to double down. That's what on we do on this show. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do on this show. And you're rocking the blue Cortez, dog. Yeah, my my dad uh, that was in prison for 17 years. Damn, he got me bro. these. <laughs> okay, he what? got me these when he. Yeah. Did he get busted for fighting fish? <laughs> no, he got for uh, drugs. Did he really? What kind of drugs was it? Uh, he my my dad was around when the crack epidemic was Damn. going on. So he was slanging that crack. So he was slanging that crack. Was he was he a gang member? Uh, he wasn't really into the gangs. He was more so into the, like the the drug, the, the money, the drug. Deal. And how 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 much time did he get? He did so. He he has a crazy story. So he did thirteen years. Uh, he he studied law and got himself out of prison. Wow. Yeah. So he's smart cause, dude. Because yeah. So because he got he got life for attempted murder, but he didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> but still, dude, I'm saying, bro. Yeah. So he studied law. Do enough found drugs. Out, found out the system fucked up. And uh, not only did my dad get released, but a bunch of other inmates got released Tight as well. Tight move, Papa yeah. Chappelle. Because I guess when you get live, mm -hmm. someone specific has to sign off for it, mm -hmm. and that person did it. Wow. And so my dad caught that. Wow, that's they, brilliant, man. Yeah. That's cool. Are you close with your dad now? Now, yeah. It's like a, yeah, we're like rebuilding a relationship. Does yeah. he still is do drugs tough? or anything? Or is Does he still do? He's clean now? Yeah, he's clean now. Yeah, wow. he's doing good, man. Was he well, using drugs, or he was just selling drugs? No, nah, he was selling it. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't using Don't get it. high in your own supply, bro. Yeah, Come on, nah, man. Yeah, about that. Yeah. I mean, there just wasn't a lot of stuff for black. There wasn't a lot of stuff for black men to sit. They didn't have a lot of business opportunity, though. You know? You got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, at that, I, I don't think when I was growing up, they didn't have, like, a lot of black guys that were, like, doctors in our town and stuff like that or, like, business owners. Yeah. So I think drugs was, like, an easy thing you could sell, you know? Oh, he said when the crap e epidemic hit, he said it was crazy. It was he insane. Said, yeah, he said you had 10 houses and, like, Seven out of the ten houses, either someone's doing it or selling it. Damn. That's how crazy it is. Th and that's what you're surrounded by. You can yeah. get involved in the business. Mm -hmm. Your dad yeah, what are you going to be, just somebody that's just smoking crack and not inv <laughs> not a businessman? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I, what else you got, Nick? Get yeah, out what here. else you got? Get us out of this race. Send you with some world. debate club. <laughs> Wait, 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 what the last guy want? Oh, think Walmart or Target? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, Target's a little fancier. I'm more of a Target guy, as my mom called it. But Target is more for women, I feel like. Women more go to Target. Anybody could go to Walmart. You can go to Walmart to get a boat. You can go to Walmart to get a Bible. I feel know? like more, more meth addicts would dig Walmart. It's more, it's kind of like a, it's a free-for-all. Yeah, and Walmart's a kind of place, if you're in a smaller area, like, and you go to the Walmart, it's kind of like a, something to do. They're it's all like, the same. Also, Walmarts are just kind of flea markets got their shit together. You, you know think? what I'm saying? Yeah. It's chaos. I like the clothing section. I, I always kind of liked it. They always had, like, Florida State gear and stuff. They, they always, always had, like, kind of a couple of colleges and stuff. Yeah, they do. Like, at Christmas, you go get the, you get your brother or sister You can always get an Oklahoma Sooner shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And a Crimson Tide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can always get some Random pretty, teams, yeah. You can get Hanes socks. I yeah. always like that. I like both, but I'm more of a Target man. Really? Yeah. My son loves Target. Yeah, I guess Target looks a little bit more organized. It's smaller, I feel like. Mm -hmm. It's smaller. Walmart's massive, man. You yeah. get exhausted walking that thing. Yeah, you can get dehydrated in there. You'll find people just fucking passed out. <laughs> people unconscious. People Taking sitting in lawn chairs. Yeah. yeah. That's one thing I do like. Well, you can get it, you can get to like the second or third realm in there. And you can, uh, they'll have somebody fucking. Talking about Walmart Beyond? Yeah, yeah, dude. They'll have somebody fucking like brewing their own water back there <laughs> yeah. somewhere, you know? They'll or have their somebody own literally beer. cooking steaks on a yeah, grill back there. I like, like that Jesus, shit. Bro, dude. I worked at Walmart Did for like you? a week. Yeah. Was it a nightmare? Yeah. Dude, it was crazy because they do like, every, like before every shift, they do this like weird chant. Mm -hmm. I can't tell it. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's like a secret. <laughs> but they do this like weird chant. It's, I don't know, it's awkward, but yeah, I, I last about a week. Though. Really? Yeah. What didn't you like about it? Now, why'd you only last a week? It, I mean, I was just fucking, I was like, what the fuck am I in? Like, what, what the, it was, I don't know, it just seemed too cultish to me. I was going to say, it's really? more of a Walmart cult. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. And I was just like, I got to get out of here. What? How yeah. could you get out of there, dude? It takes forever to get out of there. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the thing, though, is that Walmart, I love Walmart. I think if I could go back in time and work somewhere, I would work at Walmart for a couple months. Really? I loved it, man. I, I, I'd work at Home Depot. I could see you at Home Depot. Yeah. 
with that orange cape on. Yeah. And you eat the churros. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be working. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on my break, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. You can't start with your break, dude. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm gonna break first, and then oh, and then figure it out yeah, from there. Yeah. He wants the got? job for the food. Yeah. What the fuck, dude, bro? Costco too. Costco has some good food, man. The pizza uh, and yeah. churros. Uh huh. I don't go to Costco, but I do. Sometimes I used to go to Walmart, and they had good shrimp scampi. I always thought that Costco's an elite club. I can get you in. I know. Can people. you? Yeah, I get you in. <laughs> Plus one. I'd go in. Yeah. All right, I'll take Nick. Thanks. <laughs> Walmart allows people to camp in their parking lot for like travelers and stuff. I did it when I moved out here in my car. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Is it? Look at me now. Yeah. That's true. That's LA a good point. story over there. Yeah, and you didn't have any advice for the guy who called and asked for fucking suggestions. <laughs> Walmart, if you're looking for a place to see, sleep, Walmart. I love that. I didn't know that. I didn't I, know that either. I've always wondered too. I'm the dude who's like, oh, I'll go park in like a scary area. And just be real quiet. Yeah, I just park in front of a house and kind of figure it out. <laughs> but I, I like that. I slept in a Hooters parking lot. Did you? Yeah. I could see you doing that, though. In an Impala. Really? Yeah, and had a bloody nose. For what? Were, you, were they doing like a grand opening or something in the morning? No. <laughs> I just need you got to stay, bro. to see who would be the first one in. Yeah. Dude, yeah, dude. would you have a bloody nose? For I don't know. My nose wouldn't stop bleeding. I'll never forget that. <laughs> bro, probably because of g g any one of your life paths, bro. <laughs> Football. You have, like at that point, the CTE has to fucking really be setting in when you're sitting outside of a Hooters with a nosebleed. Or it was trying to drain out. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do you got, dude? Brennan's like, I'm going to block it in. Go yeah. <laughs> on, Brennan Shaw, and at that debate club for you. Fruit by the foot, fruit roll up. Gang, gang, fuck you, cuz. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, cousin. Damn, bro. That's all aggressive. Well, second cousin is legal. First cousin is what is not legal. <laughs> and we do have to get that out there because there's a lot of misinformation. The, is that the rule in Louisiana? It's the rule everywhere. First cousin, will you look this up too, Nick? Can you legally have sex with your first cousin? <laughs> I know the answer is no, but we can do it for everyone. Yeah, the answer is no. Cousin I mean, I don't rules. need this information. <laughs> but you do, though, brother. Okay? You never know, Chappelle. Yeah. Especially when you look like everyone in your stories. <laughs> so you sure better start to fucking have some information to support your sex life here, Chappelle, okay? Uh, in some states, sex between first cousins is prohibited. Mm -hmm. um, it says some states. Yeah. Legality of incest. And look at that color chart. Get, let's get to the color chart. We don't want to trick Brendan, but they need the <laughs> Literary. Uh, not... Hey, why Theo knows the strict details on sleeping with your cousin? I have no idea. Are you going to blame it on meth again? <laughs> dude, when you're on meth, again, dude, you don't know what you can do when you're high. Your cousin's there, you're saying. running low on product, and you fucked your cousin, dude. Drug-induced incestuality. Bro, I'm telling you, it's how it starts. Dude, you and gotta it, start taking some responsibility for your choices, bro. <laughs> Quit blaming on them drugs. It's your, now that's you sound probably, like Joe Exotic that's right probably now. true, dude. Now, I'm just saying that. Dude, some places you get the death penalty. Yeah. That's that Middle East area. And also Africa. Middle East and some parts of Africa, it looks like. Uh, Frowned upon. And <laughs> Zanzibar, where is that? What South about in America? Can we just look at America? America's Nick, kind know? of orange and red on some of the West Coast. Or just legal. Yeah, let's even just. Let's just go back to whatever that first thing was. This tells us it's about incest, if we can. Incest laws and charges. The crime of incest is committed. Oh, we know what happens. <laughs> uh, is, it a, is it a crime between adults? What about that? Almost all states criminalize incest between adult relatives. Some legal scholars have argued that incest laws as applied to adults should be rethought. I see. I could see that. I think a lot of it too, because if you get with a, a family member and you have a baby, it has a high likelihood of being a fucked up baby too. That's one of the main reasons. <clears throat> That's one of the main reasons, man. In United States, what does that say, Nick? Second cousin are legally allowed to marry in every state. Praise God, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're in the clear, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying because here's one of the things is some people they don't live. They used to not live close to anybody. Like they didn't have cars. They didn't have. So it's like you could only. 
you know, you're not going to walk over probably 20 miles to have sex with someone. Mm -hmm. So you got to think, and most of that's your family living close. So that's why they made the laws was because, yeah, babies were coming out a little while. Damn, Alabama allows first cousin marriage. A lot of them do. Alaska. Yes. Arizona. Yes. yes. California. Yes. What? Colorado. Yes. That's disappointing, Colorado. <laughs> what? Dude, I would not fuck my first cousin at high altitude, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are really. Dude, Louisiana, apparently you get some sort of refund if you marry a fucking <laughs> first cousin. <laughs> Wait, it's marriage encouraged. between first cousins is not oh, allowed wow. in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the future, brother. We are laying the path. And that's why Theo moved to California. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I can only get my cousins to move out of here. Talking about, uh, I'm not going to go home for Easter or this coronavirus. Or because there's a fucking... There's a strict there's a warrant, sex legislation. There's a warrant out for your arrest for sleeping with your young cousin. What else you got, Nick? Well, last debate club. It's a striking, though. Before we do it, Nick, I want to go through and at least answer some of these people's questions because I don't think we've answered any. Uh, the guy said... Fruit by the foot or fruit roll up. Okay. Oh, uh, listen. I, I'm more of a quality over quantity. The fruit by the foot, it's a foot fucking long roll of bullshit fruit roll up. It's like a cheap fruit roll up. I like yeah. that thick, stiff <laughs> fruit roll up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> and you take it out of that package and it's fucking tight. You roll that bitch out. Yeah. And I, I used to I used to roll it up and boom. <laughs> you do like that? Oof. What the hell? What would yes. you do? <laughs> that shit would stick to the roof of your mouth <laughs> like a retainer. Yeah. I love that. I never had a lot. We didn't have fruit roll ups. They were expensive, man. <laughs> they were definitely more of a higher end treat. They were. Fruit by the foot was cheap. <laughs> oh, you get that anywhere. You get that on the fucking street. Yeah. You'd have a dude have seven feet of it. Mm -hmm. Fruit you know? roll ups always advertised there was shapes inside it that you could peel out, and you couldn't peel yeah. that shit out. No one ever did. Yeah, it you could. And then you'd peel it out, it'd be all deformed because <laughs> you'd pull too hard on one end of the star, and the star got <laughs> all fucked up. Or they Remember? had the tongue tattoos. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what was that? They had like a little imprint of like animals and stuff like that, where if you keep it on your tongue for long enough, you'll get like the marking on your tongue. So it looks like a tattoo. Oh my hmm. God. Hey, how about my son? And that sounds like a scam, doesn't yeah. it? It is a what scam. Kid would, kids will fall for fucking anything, dude. Dude, how, really about, my, how about my son got warheads for Easter? Oh, yeah. You remember warheads, man? Yeah, I didn't I know they still made them. My son got them. I'm like, what the fuck? But then you try them. They're those little bitch warheads. Oh, they are? They're not like when we were kids. When we were kids, we eat those warheads. Dude, you go miss them for two days. <laughs> oh, the first batch of warheads that ever came out, bro, that hot batch, dude. One of my friends had one, and he couldn't open his eyes for almost two days. <laughs> couldn't open his eyes, dude. I've we had a to, ton of stories like that. We had to hold his eyes open to look at him. <laughs> those warheads were different level. Something toxic. Remember man. that, dude? The first ones that came <sighs> out? Somebody had one. You'd have to split it up. I remember people would split it. It'd ruin your day. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. It was so much fun. Oh, yeah, bro. That was Remember it had like a little bit of dust on the outside? Yeah. Of it? Remember that? Where can we get those vintage warheads? Then remember, remember the big jawbreakers? You'd lick them so much your tongue would start to bleed? <laughs> oh, and you get to the middle and there'd be like some weird gushy substance. <laughs> no? You never made it that far? <laughs> you're a critter. Bro, it sounds like That's you got molested. <laughs> <laughs> this, this episode is disgusting, man. What else this whole got, episode Nick? has been about sex and perversion. <laughs> yeah. And this is supposed to be our Easter episode. But hold on, we haven't helped anybody. Yeah, we did. The Dude, guy. I want the fucking uh, uh, fruit, fruit by the foot some bullshit. Okay. I'm a, I'm a fruit roll man. Okay, I'll go for fruit roll ups as well. And if well. I'm really feeling froggy and uh, I want to get savvy with it, I'm going gushers all goddamn day. I put that gush in my mouth and that thing busts in my mouth. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that sweet syrup rolls down my throat. Dude, you ain't live until you start deep throwing some gushers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. The grape gush? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what are you saying, dude? All grape gushers look the same, dude? <laughs> you you dude, need help. You man. Had I some... can't work with this guy, man. <laughs> this is too much, dude. When does it stop, bro? When does it fucking. Dude, you don't want to make us go an hour into can I sleep with my first cousin? <laughs> <laughs> you think I, I want to be part of this? I want to defend your actions. We need to let people. See, I told you, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's legal, dude. I'm just saying there are certain places have different. Tell your, ideas. Quit, tell your cousin to quit emailing <laughs> yeah. me, dude. <laughs> 
What else uh, you got? No, dude? we haven't helped anyone. Okay, <laughs> we've so, helped everybody. The guy was in the car and he wanted to know something. He was driving. Remember? Oh, uh, King and her sting at roadside attractions. <laughs> yeah, we never <laughs> oh, did that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Dude, roadside attractions. Dude, those are just people on meth cleaning up shit no. to make money, dude. No, dude. That's what it is. The biggest dinosaur in the world. Yeah, and they yeah. have it right there outside of, uh, I think it's about four Apparently hours. Apparently every state has it, though. From That's El Paso. The problem. Yeah, but different ones. There's more than one. There's Dinosaurs were everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that. <laughs> you think Amer just America had dinosaurs? Oh my god, bro. That's crazy, dude. If you're one of those fucking dinosaur international dinosaur deniers, dude. You think just America had dinosaurs? You're an idiot, man. That's the oldest trick in the ignorance book, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Roadside attractions, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I Where else fuck you yeah. yeah. They make time fly by. Yeah. Dude, I get myself a fucking one of those snack size bags of Cheetos and I go look at the biggest beaver in the world. Yeah, that's yeah. living, brother. That is living, dude. I toss some tobacco in my lip. That's yeah, living, yeah. man. Yeah, where else are you going to see someone with the largest jar of fucking human saliva? Yeah. <laughs> dude, you pick up a Slim Jim and one of those little lot lizards? Dude, yeah, yeah. it's a good time. Bro, you got to get out there, man. Where else are you going to see somebody who fucking decapitated their own leg and turns it into a bird feeder, dude? <laughs> Unless you pull off the interstate and get some damn gas, boy. Yeah. Okay? Come and go, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those come and goes are great. Yeah, dude. Heavy on the come, brother. <laughs> 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 This episode is disgusting. Dude, it's See? disgusting. No, dude. you rub off nothing. on me. I nothing. I was referencing a fucking stop place <laughs> that you get gas and Cheetos, bro. Every place you're at, and you said Cheetos. heavy on the stop, <laughs> and you said heavy on the cum, dude. I love how heavy on the cum. Yeah, because you guys are rotting my mind in here. And <laughs> no Nick one's is doing anything, all this shit. dude. Both of you guys are. You spent are. two hours trying to figure out if you fucked your cousin or not. I don't have any first cousins, dude. Save that for your therapist, all right? <laughs> the answer's nah, man. It ain't cool. You guys are. What else you got, Nick? Can you play a gospel King song or something? <laughs> this one's pretty wholesome. King of the Sting. This is Dave coming from Boston. Had a couple throwbacks for you regarding toys. Uh, Theo, hate to leave you out of this. I know your mother didn't love you. Uh, Brendan, uh, you probably remember some of these gems. Oh, hell yeah. Five ball. Oh, I have five ball. But I got a king in the sting for you. Ninja Turtles. Hey. <laughs> uh, well, my pet monster. Oh, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my wow. god. Wow. My pet monster was my ultimate favorite gift as a kid. Really? Ah, oh, dude, my dad got it for me. Me and my brother used to fight over that thing. It came with the chains. We lost one of the chains, so he only had one chain on. Mm -hmm. And there was a movie and a cartoon, My Pet Monster. Oh, it's my favorite gift as a kid. Then I had the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection as well. Mm. I even had the the, the, the blimp. I had the blimp. They had a blimp where you'd fit all the action figures in it. Really? God. Huh. They don't make toys like that anymore. My favorite monster this guy's called? <laughs> yeah, he's cool. No, my, my, my pet, pet monster. monster. My pet monster. It's my favorite gift. He has the same nose as Theo. <laughs> shit was dope. <laughs> well, look, as long as, I'm, as long as I'm your second favorite monster, <laughs> then I'll take that, man. Those um, old school toys were dope. I actually would even, I would go back and buy some of them. <laughs> I, did. I would. I actually really did look like that This monster, is the commercial? My pet monster. My pet monster. He's bigger than big. When he fights battles, he always wins. And he's your friend, too. Yeah, there's not much to do with him, as you can tell. <laughs> Oh, it's for whites only there. At the end. <laughs> there was one black kid in it. There was. And they, they showed him running. Him. They showed him running. They showed him running away with it. It was somebody else's My Pet Monster. It was Get Out the prequel. <laughs> yeah, it was. This is early Get Out. Yeah, very <laughs> Wow, full circle here. Full circle, man. Just like that shitty hike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do we help anyone? <laughs> I feel like we helped everyone, man. Really? I, feel, I, I, I honestly feel like we, there's so many things we didn't answer for people. Here's what I would say to the guy driving across country, man. 
do not one time i had all my cash right and so i stopped at a rest area i've been eating no dos which were kind of a regional kind of upper at the time mm -hmm. and uh i put all my cash into my underpants i didn't want to leave it in my car it was my life savings i was moving out to university of arizona to go to college and i forgot it was in there i went to sleep i went and slept on like the floor in this it was a, one of the like biggest gas station come here you know yeah. we'll shoot your you know we'll shoot your buddy in the face you know <laughs> pull over you know um <laughs> like oh man i don't have a buddy but i'll fucking i'll stop and watch check it out <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but i'll fucking i'll fucking buy a couple almond joys and watch the fun you know <laughs> i'll buy a scores bar and watch somebody get shot in the face <laughs> yeah, dude. not from close up no, like bro. some creep but i'll sit in my car and watch <laughs> so anyway i fell asleep in there i fell asleep for like 40 minutes right got up forgot that all my cash was in my underpants and it fell out of my pant leg <laughs> In a gas station. No. It was like $1,100. Fuck. So then I lost it. Couldn't find it. So then literally for the next two hours, I'm wandering around this gas station asking people, strangers, <laughs> if they found $1,100 in cash. <laughs> oh, my God. Was anyone honest? <laughs> Fuck no, dude. <laughs> so then what would you do the rest of the way? Huh? How'd you get to Arizona, playboy? Oh, dude, I just, I had to stop. Oh, I, I, yeah. I hadn't even gotten to El Paso yet. I had to sleep in El Paso in my car one night, and then my stepdad came and gave me gas money. Type move. Oh. When you said you were going to go to the University of Arizona, you mean hang out there? Because you sure as fuck weren't going to school there, bro. You did not get Dude, them grades. I went for one semester, man. Pull shit. Did you really? Uh, yeah. You wildcat? I went in a class, man. Bear down. Yeah, Damn, man. Dog. We were in there. I didn't know that. Did you guys play them? No. Mm -mm. You guys played Colorado State, right? Out of, out of conference. But when I was at Colorado, Colorado State was out of conference? Yeah. Because they're, 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 Mount, they're Mountain West. And we're Big 12. I feel like every game I see of Colorado, they would play. It would be them against Colorado State. It would be the seventh overtime, 53-51. to 51. Good games. Yep. The Mile High Showdown, son. It was always out of conference, though. Damn. This is a little brother. We used to beat the shit out of him. Really? Every year. Still do. Who beat you guys a lot? Texas, Oklahoma. Ooh, ooh. Who'd y'all play against? Major Applewhite? Uh, yeah. Y'all yeah. did? Yeah, good call. And Vince Young. Damn. Damn. We played Vince Young, and they had Cedric Benson, and they beat us 50-3 to three Ooh. in the Big 12 championship. Ooh. Then we played Oklahoma the following year, and I played against Jason White and Adrian Peterson. And you got both Heisman Trophy winners. They beat us 70-3. to three. Damn. We played at Kansas City Chiefs Stadium. At halftime, do y'all still think y'all can come back? You guys are like, <laughs> nope. I always wondered that. Nope. That's wild. Even the coach knew it. He's like, go out there and have some fun, I guess. <laughs> I'd be that guy who'd be like, we're going to fucking do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, when it's 40 to nothing at halftime. Uh, we need a trick play. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the six-pointer. <laughs> Y'all got to start shooting that six-pointer, dog. I wish. They should have a way that you can get back in the game, you know? God, those were bummers. Were they? Yeah, man. You know Chin's birthday's Friday. Huh? Mm -hmm. Chin turns 43 on Friday. 43. Really? Yep. In two months, right? In two months. Yep, in two mm -hmm. months. Yep. Not Friday. In two months. Yeah. yeah. Redeeming myself. <laughs> <out there. laughs> uh, that's crazy, man. What do you want to celebrate? What was that? He's going to be working. Yeah. We're going to celebrate yeah. at work, though. We're going to do a little party. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll try and do something next week for you. Oh, you guys are doing something with the fighter and the kid? Because you guys tape, are taping it on Friday? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't know what birthday we have coming up next. When's cats? Hmm? Or do you don't want, you don't want to say it? Mm, mine is in the summer. Oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, she told us. I remember <laughs> yeah. it. What? Yeah. I remember birthdays. Yeah. You what do? is it? It's July third. Oh, Damn. it's coming up then. When's yours, Chappelle? January twenty. How old are you, Chappelle? I'm thirty three. Are you really? Wow, wow. You're young as fuck. Really? really? I, I thought he was like twenty six. I thought he's older than that. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, yeah, that's racist. That's not racist, that's bro. Racist, I thought man. he was just older. That's nah, racist. I think it switched back now. Now, now you're the not okay. racist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. David Damn. Duke's over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you I went to the done. gym with him. Okay, that's it. I didn't. <laughs> he dated this hot girl that worked at the seafood restaurant. <laughs> she was hot. Was she banging bro. and the racist? Hottest, huh? banging and racist. <laughs> she was banging and racist. I don't know if she was racist at all. I don't know, but I'll say this: she she was very 
white. <laughs> she had like white hair. I could even. Guess that. You ever meet like a person who's born with like white hair? You know, every now and then, unless somebody who's born with like senior albino? hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was like, yeah, she was like albino. He wanted her white. Yeah, he's like, ah, whiten it up a little. <laughs> you know, she would wear a white shirt. She would wear white stuff. You know. She would just say white, 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 white all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was really. Uh, dang. So, yeah, Kat's the next birthday then. Am I? No one else has a birthday coming up? I'm Nick? sure. Day after Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. That's a bummer, dude. <laughs> Talk about fucking. <laughs> I mean, how could you ever feel really wanted in the world? <laughs> Born after the Jesus Day, man. Yeah, man. That clean up hitter right there <laughs> lots of lots of double double gifts this is christmas and birthday oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Bro, at least if you ever ever become a school shooter or something for an adult school yeah. okay that you talk not about a the nighttime shooters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They only do i would stay i would support at least understanding why he did it because <laughs> people said oh this is this this counts for two gifts <laughs> That alone, bro. Is there anything worse? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely it's underdog. That's how that's how we do here, man. It's underdogs only, man. Underdogs. Um, I think I'm sure it, we can man. get a lot of weird shit sent in for Cat's birthday too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure you got a ton of dick pics for your birthday. What? I get a no. lot of that now. Oh my god. <laughs> they just be sending it? Yes. Like oh. no. Yes explanation no explanation sometimes they'll use something else as like reference oh, so I, can, like, I hate that like a little bit. like a uh, chapstick or something <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a toothpick <laughs> yeah. oh, like a small hat like a match a small... <laughs> like a match like a match check out this hog <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> two matches <laughs> two matches think you can handle this <laughs> well we might have to have a uh, we might have to, have to do an unboxing video <laughs> speaking of unboxing you know Walmart used to sell coffins how crazy is that not crazy <laughs> I and I think that. that's true. Can you look that up, Nick? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah, they sell them. <laughs> oh, my God. And there you Walmart, go, right there. Caskets. Ooh, get that thick boy. A grand man. get you that blue thick boy. <laughs> Dude, why don't we sell caskets? <laughs> Bro, if we had our own thing King of the sink? Yeah. Rip my drip? Is yeah. it you me clowning the dead guy? <laughs> what? No. No, just that fucking thick boy casket. <laughs> caskets? That was tough. <laughs> what is it called? Gas? Cats gets. Cats gets. Cats gets. Doesn't work. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, cats skits. King of the Sting skits. <laughs> Damn, you can get that tie dye hitter. Look at the colors. Click on the tie dye color. See the colors to the far left? Oh, that's beautiful. <coughs> What's the tie dye one look like? That's not tie dye. What kind of fucking <laughs> thought's going to get a tie dye? Oh, that's Ooh. where you put the ashes. Ooh. And it's caramelized, too. Mm. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ooh, they can put your ashes in that Fabergé egg. God, that's nice. I wonder what I want to be in. I want to be in like a something the dog can run around with every now and then. So people will be like, oh, fuck. They just brought Theo in the room. You know? <laughs> like a bone? Like, yeah, like a some type of treat or something. We can figure that out. It'd be crazy though, right? Like a greenie, but with your ashes? Yeah. That'd be sick. Like some kind of fun toy. So, no. All right. No, that's <laughs> Caskets. <laughs> Did we answer everything people wanted, though? I feel like we missed something. I think that's kind of the fun of this show. They never get answered, but we did. <laughs> we did. That's kind of what problem. we do. <laughs> we had Easter egg painting. We're pro mm -hmm. it. Getting a puppy during quarantine. King it. Roadside attractions. King them. A lot of king in Walmart. It's very rare we sting shit. Fruit by the foot. Or fruit roll-ups over fruit mm -hmm. by the foot. Walmart over Target. Well, that's all like we did. Target. Okay. No. I like Target over Walmart. Yeah. I want that on the record. I can't listen to a man call it Target over and over again. But I like Walmart. I like the fact that you can fish. You can fucking cast out into the fucking distance in Walmart <laughs> and see if you piss somebody off. Might hit a kid. <laughs> Dude, fuck him. No one gives a fuck. But if you bring your kid to Walmart, don't expect him to get roughed up a little bit by the locals. <laughs> yeah. But that was always the best. Some random kid going by and they had that big thing of balls they would put in the middle of Walmart That's for no right. reason. And it was like 40 cents for one of these balls. 
balls. That's right. And you just hum them at every fucking kid going by. That's right. They used to have those big, that cage full of balls. Yeah, I think it was insane. Yeah, it was. And there'd be somebody stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was insane. Have you seen my dad? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. Burn. Give me a ball. Yeah, dude. Throw a ball out, dude. And I'll throw some bread and water in, you creep. <laughs> Quit crying. Throw me a ball, dude. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> get me out of here. Get me out of here. Later, brother. Gang, brother. Brennan and Theo, fighter and wait. I gotta go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brennan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah. They sliding into my DMs yeah. A couple of you try but couldn't beat them no. Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz uh, Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible yeah. Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club Can you pick me up? King and the Sting King and the Sting Oh yeah Shout out New Orleans and shout out to CO Colorado more specifically Boulder Brendan came in with a chip on his shoulder But it's still gold and yet it's still fire If you don't like King and this thing you're a liar Brendan's got like a thousand different hustles One of them's at Nordstrom Rack doing tires Black Rifle Coffee, we hear you loud and clear Your son on the email like please get me out of here It's way too loud in here Watching the Irishman eating pizza drinking half a beer Now on to Theo Vaughn Looking like the type of dude that tries to read a song Smoking cigarettes with a snap back on About to hit the crib and turn Snapchat on it's all good, we still mess with you 1811 Pico Boulevard, go get that hitter Derek and Kat, y'all doing great Thursday upload, not a minute late Y'all wanted to rap, I had to demonstrate Brand new studio, y'all feeling great Putting Chris Delano in his place Now let's go and get Chinna Day And the Sting On a string oh, yeah.